guys, welcome back to Release the Crafted, and welcome to the first day of the RTC Goblin Mode Challenge. If you guys missed the announcement video, I'm basically doing just a little mini seven day challenge, and this is day one, and the prompt for today is mushrooms. So, uh, the whole challenge is like goblin and goblin core themed, um, and I will link the announcement video and a Pinterest board for Goblin Core if you aren't really sure what the vibe is uh, in the description box below. So you guys can check that out if you want to join in. Um, as always, if you join along and you craft along with me, use the hashtag so I can see you. Because if you use the hashtag and you finish all seven days, by the end of this I will be uh, you know, drawing a prize and picking a winner um, for whoever you know participates. I'll, I'll pick a winner from that batch. Those are the words I'm trying to say. Um, but... <laughs> As far as today's project, I'm really excited. I decided to make these little like patchwork quilted mushroom tags because in my mind, in my little like world, goblins are like scavengers and collectors. And so I figured that they would pick up little bits of fabric that they find from like scavenging around human settlements and human houses. And they would put them together in something, you know, that makes sense for them. And, you know... The thing that made the most sense was mushrooms. So we're making little quilted looking mushroom tags and I'm like using up a bunch of my scrap fabrics. This is a great scrap buster just in general. You don't have to make mushrooms. You can make just regular tags, but this is a really great way to use up scrap fabrics or little extra pieces and stuff that you've been hanging on to here and there. Um, and so I'm just trying to keep with like a kind of goblin-y color aesthetic that also matches the current project I'm working on because if you have been following along with other videos on the channel then you know that I'm working on a goblin's cottage book so I'm trying to keep in line with the themes and the colors that I've chosen in that book as well because this is going to go in there um but yeah I, I just I really love how these came out and like I, I have made like a quilted patchwork tag in the past before but not quite like this because these ones have a, a certain shape they're they're gonna be shaped like mushrooms and i'm so excited they're gonna be so cute i can't wait for you guys to see it i've already seen it because i finished this project but like i'm excited for you guys to see it because when i finally saw it it was super cute and i loved it um but essentially i'm just gonna use some glue stick to just sort of lightly tack down these pieces of fabric so that i can take them to my sewing machine and sew them if you do not have a sewing machine uh you would want to use a better stronger glue for this like a fabric tack so it stays on permanently but because I'm going to go back and sew over the top of everything um I'm just using glue stick and that'll hold it until I can get it to the sewing machine and get it stitched down and then I'm just going to stitch it down with a couple different stitches so it has like a nice little like visual variety as you can see here um and then I'm going to go back and uh, add a little backing to it of some thinner paper because this is already going to be a pretty chunky like tag. It's going to be very thick because it's got layers and layers of fabric and stuff on it. So I'm going to use a thin paper to back it just so that it's easier to write on. The, that stitching is still going to be like present there because the paper is thin. Um, you could use a thicker paper. You could use like a cardstock to back it. But I don't want this to be super, super bulky. Um, and I don't think that like the stitching is going to be a major obstacle to journaling um but it does give you like a nice surface to journal onto um and then here i just roughly sketched out a, a very basic mushroom shape i didn't want it to be super complicated because i have to go back and cut this out um uh, and then also stitch around it uh because i wanted to complete the quilted effect of it but a very basic straightforward mushroom shape i just imagine a mushroom in your brain you guys can do it it's absolutely doable and if you aren't confident in your um ability to sketch out a mushroom shape or any shape that you're trying to do you can always go look for like a line art or a silhouette of the shape that you're trying to do um on like google or something and you know just print that out and use that as your template but uh, like very satisfying that i managed to get six full mushrooms out of here i'm very impressed with my like jenga skills to make this work and then i'm using a really good pair of sharp scissors these are my old fabric scissors i have better fabric scissors these ones have kind of been through it but they're still pretty sharp so they're going to make their way through um all the layers of fabric uh that are here uh so you definitely want to use a good sharp scissor though because um a dull scissor will make you cry trying to cut this and i'm like really enjoying cutting this upside down and not being able to see like what the final result is going to be until i flip it over for the reveal because every single one of these was like a very pleasant surprise i definitely have like one or two that are my favorites but none of them are like bad to me it's just a fun little like 
scrappy thing. It's kind of like making a collage board, but with fabric, and, it, and the, the result is delightful. So um, if you do not have a sewing machine or aren't able to sew um, at this stage, you wouldn't have to go back around and quilt everything down. You could like run a ribbon along the edge and glue that down to get like a really nice looking seam, but that's also very fiddly, so that's up to you. Otherwise, at that point, you're done. You don't have to go back around. But I'm going to go back around and stitch half on, half off of this so I get like a nice locked stitch around the edge so that um, it looks like a little tiny quilt because <laughs> that's, that's the ultimate goal is to make these look like little little quilted pieces that the goblins put together. And um, you guys are going to see they're, they're super freaking cute. Um, and you can see how important having sharp scissors was. And I only got left with like a little couple tiny pieces of extra bits that um, I'm okay letting go of because I got to use up so much of my scraps. So I went and stitched around all of them. Look at how cute they look. And I'm just going to go ink them up so that they have a very defined edge and that really brings it together. I think it makes the shape pop a little bit more instead of keeping it vague because there's a lot of different shapes on there in the little quilted background. So I think outlining it sort of makes the whole thing pop and gives it more definition. And like, yeah, that's that's how we made these and they are super freaking cute. I loved how they came out. Um, I will show them to you guys a little bit close up so you can see the final result. But look how freaking cute. <laughs> Uh, and I really do think that outline makes a big difference. So definitely, if you aren't sewing yours, definitely go around and outline or edge uh, your little piece in some way, shape, or form. So you can get a very defined, really cute thing. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> I love these so much. And I hope that you guys give them a shot if you um, are crafting along with me. Or if you are going to make like a fairy or goblin-y or foresty book in the future. This would be a really cute idea for that. Um, but that's going to be it for me, guys, for today. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow so that you can see what happens on day two. And like I said, follow along using the hashtag, the hashtag, the hashtag, words are really hard, uh, hashtag RTC Goblin Mode. And you can see all the stuff that everybody else who's participating makes. And, you know, join along. Just have some fun. We'll see what comes up. Until then, guys, I appreciate your faces. Happy crafting. Bye.